Hello everyone, Brennick is here, and this is a new series on my channel called Retro Reviews. And today, we are going to review the Smart Boy. Um, I saw this, actually my wife mentioned it to me, asked me if I wanted it for Christmas. And not being that big of a uh, Game Boy fan, I mean not nothing's wrong with Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Uh, I just, I never really... Um, I never really played the Game Boy that much. I played uh, Balloon Kid, Zelda, the Mario where you're in the little shuttle, and uh, obviously Pokemon. And that's about it. I really, I didn't do a lot more with the Game Boy. So I was like, uh, no thanks. But uh, my friend Rainy is actually a pretty big uh, Game Boy fan and played it a lot. So I was like, hey, you know what? Merry Christmas. So, um, yeah. I got it for him. I was like, you know what? This would be a neat thing to review. So we see here on the package that it says that it uh, is a Type C and it plays Game Boy and Game Boy Cover. Cover. Color. So we're going to do an unboxing. I did cut the stickers on the back. Um, I bought this off. And so just to get into it a little bit, pretty much your smartphone fits right into this guy. And then the Game Boy goes in the back. So we're going to open this guy up. Smart boy instructions, huh? Get that out of here. <laughs> so we got this, and it comes with a Type C connector, and it's extended. I guess I don't know why that's extended. Looks like I'm gonna give somebody a colostomy, or uh, not a colostomy, but a, a you know the whoop one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right. And then here's our setup. Looks pretty cool. See the Game Boy cartridges go on the back. Uh, either I just... Oh, it expands. Okay. I see what you did there. Oh, the front expands to what phone you have. Cool. Well, I actually have the Note 9, which is a fairly large phone. So let's open this guy up. Okay. I guess that's as wide as it goes. Nothing else in the box. Get that guy out of here. Here's my phone. Let me make sure all my uh, business affairs are closed out of. Oh, imagine that. What's my phone on? Retro Roots. Go ahead and click and subscribe and like. <laughs> what a coincidence. Okay, so. Looks pretty simple. Um, just drop her on down in there. So there's that. Okay, huh, well, now what? That's what I get for throwing, let's see here. Use the Type-C vibe with you to set your smart boy up for the first time. Connect the female end smart boy's USB-C jack to mail into your Android's phone Type-C. It will ensure the full visibility of your screen. Uh, first time touch your phone, you receive a notification. Ask you like Smart Boy Companion to be set as your default app. Huh. I did not receive said notification. Okay. Huh. Let's try the adapter. There we go. It's kind of hard doing this looking over my camera and trying to also make sure that I'm not doing a crappy job with the review. Reviews are hard. Okay. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Okay. I want to read the review here. I mean, read the instructions. Uh, one time set up. Order play Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges on your Smart Boy, you will need to install the Smart Boy Companion and My Old Boy. Oh boy! Because it has pressure mark. From the Google Play Store. Great. So, let's head on down to the Google Play Store. What, do I, what app do I need? I guess Smart Boy? Not Snapchat. Smart Boy Companion. Install. Wait, why is it installed already? Open. Did 
Yes. Yes. Okay. So we did, that was pretty simple. Um, let's see here. I'm going to play this, blah, blah, blah. You need to install Smart Boy Companion and My Old Boy. Free from Google Play. So I need My Old Boy now. My Old Boy. My Old Boy. Oh, Randy, there was some oil on my table because my table was nasty. And so there's going to be oil on your instructions. My Old. Get out of here. My Old Boy. Yes. Install. Open. Uh, software run games written for the Game Boy. Sure. Great. Allow. Awesome. Okay. So, there's that. Now what? Uh, where'd you go? So, you need to install the Smart Boy Companion. Done. My Old Boy. Done. Proof Google Play. Make sure to open each app before proceeding. Open each app before proceeding to the steps below in order to allow permissions on the device. The Smart Boy is compatible with other apps and whoops. I gotta go use the bathroom. Hang on. Okay everybody, we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that quick bathroom break. I had my favorite pizza place last night and uh <laughs> yeah it kinda it kinda just sneaks up on you. Uh connect female badge to the heat check, connect to male Android, da, da, da. Sure, full visit should keep the cable in case you need to set up your phone again. Upon the first time attaching your phone, you receive notification and ask you if you like to just Yes, of course. Insert your Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridge and Smart Boy Companion will also appear to load the cartridge. Run software. Okay. Uh, press run software. Present with directory. Navigate until you find SD card. Select SD card. Now select Hyperkin Smart Boy Serial. Finally, select Smart Boy G point just start the game. Good lord. Insert your smartphone smart boy attachment. Uh huh. First time attaching your phone, receive notification. Great. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, check this out, right? That's all the English side. Well, it's up right there. Then it goes into a film de Hermano Ux, a cartridge de Game Boy et a Game Boy sur Vorle vous avez besoin de stoller a companion et Game Boy fer sur Google, Google Play a zot vous de over chante a question. Je follow vous en français. Bon. Yep, and that's all I learned in French in high school. So, yeah. Alright, so it says that once we. So, that nab it. So you can use the extension thing if you don't want to uh, have your phone inside the Game Boy thing. But that's like, what's the whole point of that, right? So, open her back up. Grab my phone. And slide it in there. To... Great. Hey, look, it fired the thingy up. So now, let's do Balloon Kid original right so we take it right here and we slide her on in bam bam <sighs> okay Crank that media bottom bottle. All right. Now the all right. So the cartridge is in. Settings. Launcher. Great. Perfect. Back. Run software. Well, what the hell happened here? <sighs> Insert your smartphone into the smart boy. Upon first time attaching the phone, you will receive a notification asking if you'd like smart boy companion set as your default app when attaching smart boy. Yes. As well as other notice to connect your phone. Okay, concern. Most instances, pressing A 
with a pressing A with will highlight the section. Pressing down right twice. Okay. You will be asked two more similar questions or to complete set. Yes. Not all phones require to use the A down down up day sequence. So pay attention <laughs> to what is being highlighted. <laughs> The goal is to confirm each section by highlighting section. The confirming button of uh, insert your Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridge. Smart Boy Canyon will appear to load the cartridge data and run soft and run launch software become available once loading is complete. Run launch software button. You will press with a directory. You will be pre presented with a directory. Navigate it until you find SD card. Now select Hyperkin Smart Boy. Will cause no fish. Okay. If your cartridge has been started but Smart Market Companion does not load its data, you can press the refresh button indicated by two arrows forming a circle. This will retry to reload the process. This does not load. Remove the cartridge, clean it, reinstall it with a fresh button. Okay. All right. So, refresh. Nothing. I love it. Hey! Look who had to blow it, huh? Uh oh. Crap, what was I supposed to? Uh oh. Uh, load game? Crap, what was the thing I was supposed to look up? Uh, da -da -da -da. The goal is confirm a search Game Boy Color. Run software to be presented to a directory. Navigate till you find forward slash SD card slash select SD card. Now, Hyperkin Smart Boy Serial. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yes. Hey, check it out. Wow, very cool. Isn't that cool? Right? So that works. Neat. All the button the buttons feel really good. I mean I haven't played a Game Boy in a while, but that's cool. Buttons work the way they should. Alright, great. So, I wonder... Oh, look. There's cheats and save and fast forward and all kinds of... Oh, so it's like a Game Boy emulator. Alright, that's neat. Cool. Alright. So, I know this is probably going to be horrible for it, but I'm going to rip our cartridge out. Due to serious crime to copy video games, be nice and play safe. What? I, I bought this! Don't threaten me. Okay. All right, dude. Chill out, man. I I know that's the reason why I bought a version. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, it didn't like that, Snaz. All right. So, piracy warning everybody. All right, so let's try the next part of this. Oh gosh. Super sensitive phone. There we go. Alright. There's my smart boy. Now, let's try... Game Boy Color Game! Pokemon Green. Merry Christmas, Rainy. Oh, are you serious? I'm super serial. Alright, I don't get to do this one on camera because it's being difficult. Alright, so... We have Pokemon Color. Let's see how this goes. Bam! Loading cartridge. Sorry, playing on my camera. Great. Run software. Load. Uh oh.
Yes. Yes, I want to close the current game. Okay, so I have the other cartridge installed and the old game's plan. Alright. Gosh. Uh oh. Get out of here, Bixby. Nobody likes you. Alright. So, this is where our handy dandy adapter comes in, I guess. Alright. Okay. Yay. Alright. This is a little annoying. I guess the annoying part of it is is that it, it's giving me full screen options, but I can't assess them while I have the actual um, Game Boy on. So that sucks a little bit. Close. Close. Smart boy. Oh, cool. Look, so if you don't have the Game Boy thing on there, it does like that. Oh, so that's neat. I like that. So that's cool. So you can do either. So you can, um, oh God, I love that music. Wait, uh, this should be a Game Boy Color game, right? Yes, 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 yes. This is not Game Boy Color. Great. Let's go. 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 Yes, Ash. Everybody hates Ash. Come on. Okay, this... Is this Game Boy Color? Should be, right? Yeah. I guess because I never played Game Boy Color. Let me know if it is or not. Um, I mean, I remember my Game Boy was, uh, so I'm using these, uh, keys on the bottom. It's a little clumsy, uh, it's tight. I mean, especially, I mean, I guess if I had my case back on and everything, it would do like normal game controls, but, uh, it's very responsive. Like, I like it a whole lot. It's, it feels good. Um, so yeah, cool. And then you can use that, or you can use the actual uh, Game Boy itself. But I mean, the whole point of this thing is... Uh-oh. I uh, fiddled with it. Okay, so, I fiddled with it. <clears throat> so I guess it throws the emulation on there, because I'm not connected to the thing at all. And I'm still playing, see? I'm... Huh, okay. So I guess pretty much it just throws the data onto the, your emulator, and then you're good to go. Oops. I was looking through the camera. Well, anyway, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. The buttons are very responsive, very neat. Um, looks kind of badass on my phone, actually. But it's a really cool thing if you're definitely a big... Uh, knock the camera over, don't you? Uh, if you're a big Game Boy lover out there, I think it's a neat idea. Um, I know... I think this is neat and everything. Shut up, Pokemon. I'm trying to talk here. I paid... I paid... Uh, ooh, got the oil on my table from it. Sorry, Rainy. Um, I paid $35 for this on eBay. Came within about three or four days. It's neat. It's a neat idea. Um, but everybody knows it's 2018, and you can't go without a case on your phone. I mean, that's impossible. If you raw dog your phone, you're gonna it's gonna be broken. So I mean, obviously I have an OtterBox for my phone, um, which I had to. I mean, well, tell you what, don't threaten me with a good time, right? Hang on one second. So I wonder. Let me put my phone back together real quick. I was about to do my closing statement, and I had a thing I wanted to know. Can I play it? Well.
dang, OtterBox, me flipping clips do you need, dude? All right, so putting my phone back together. So the biggest thing that that I had against it, and even my wife was like, well, you sure you don't want it? And I'm like, no, because I'm a huge, huge uh, proponent of cases because I, uh, I had a case on my phones back when the whole iPhone 3GS, all that good business. And um, then like I always had an OtterBox on it. Well, then I think I had like a iPhone 4 or something and uh before i went to the samsung series and and then okay so here's our game uh it definitely feels better in the uh in the case it feels feels uh nicer what i was curious about and i don't know why you would do this but just for the sake of doing it uh i wonder if you can because is that actual Okay, so you can see right here that it's because I thought, and I'm guessing I'm a dummy because I didn't look, but I thought these buttons were actually pushing through, but it's not. It's actually its own interface. So I thought it was just on the screen, like it was lining up right here, but you can obviously see those buttons are not in the same place. So if I do this, I will break the device. Jeez, come on. Not like I'm trying to do a show here or nothing. Okay, so then if I hook the device into it, then it should work. Uh oh, row, row. Oh crap. Okay, so pretty much what I'm trying to see is can you operate the uh, the phone emulator without uh, it being in the thing? Because I'm guessing you could use this, like, if you had this in your, say, your office or at home, and you wanted to play a game, you could hook it up to your phone and launch the game on your phone, and then you're good to go. So this could be like a, uh, okay. So what I was curious was, okay, yeah. So you can use it by proxy, because I'm, as you see here. So I don't... I don't know why you would do this unless maybe you like if you I don't know does it landscape okay it landscapes so maybe if you landscaped your phone on your desk and you're just sitting here and you want to play it like this good god I forgot how long Pokemon took to start up yes just oh shit sorry so I mean yeah I could see I get that um but not really. I mean, most likely, if I was to use this, uh, I'd landscape it because that actually feels pretty good. Um, I choose you, Pikachu. Oh, okay. Definitely Game Boy Color because, look, it's a comma chameleon. Um, I would definitely use this style instead of the up and down style because, one, it makes the screen bigger, and, two, the way it landscapes makes it... Uh, um, Makes it easier. Yeah, that, that feels good in my hands. Buttons are very responsive. So cool. All right. Um, I mean, I guess if you had like one of those uh, pull-out stands on the back of your phone, uh, you could set it up on your table and then you could uh, plug in and play like that. But I mean, I think the whole the whole point of it was for you to set your phone inside the actual game, the Smart Boy, and play like an actual Game Boy, which is really cool. But the problem is, guys, it's 2018. Everybody's got a phone case. I mean, besides those people that love taking their phone to the CPR or whatever you want to call it and <laughs> getting it repaired all the time. But um, but I don't know how you would make one of these that were smart case accessible because you're not going to. But all in all, I think it's neat. It's uh, very nostalgic. I think it goes toward, it's one of this whole thing uh, right now that we've got going on that, you know, the, the N64 classic, the PS1 classic, boy, I have an oily ass table. Um, all that stuff, you know, people are going back right now and they're, you know, they're buying the, the NES classic, the Sega classic, the Super, the SNES classic. And I think this is a neat product. Um, I wouldn't personally buy it for myself. But obviously buying it for a friend that, that loves his Game Boy, um, I think uh, 
I think if I was more in the Game Boy, I'd probably keep it for myself. It, it, it's kind of nostalgic in a way. It's not practical. I mean, this thing is not meant for quick access because you obviously you got a load of cartridge. You got a load of cartridge into this. Then if, even if you didn't want to take it out of your case, like you had your phone, you're like, I want to play my Game Boy. You would pull it out, put your extension on here, load your game in the back, hook it up, set it up into the... Uh, set it up into the emulator and then boot it. I mean, it takes some time, but I mean, you know, why ain't it such a damn hurry anyway? But I hope Rainy likes it and Rainy, if you're watching, I hope you like it and I hope everybody enjoyed my first video on uh, retro reviews. Uh, if you have any ideas, if you want me to do some more stuff, if you got any things you want me to review or something I can do better in my reviews, just leave it in the comments. Thanks guys. See you later. Brennicus.